When I was 10 years old, I had to leave school because I had to make money for my family. I was singing in the street and working for the Karnovskis, a rich Jewish family. They offered me food, a place to sleep, and enough money to buy my first small trumpet called Cornet. When I was 11, at a New Year's party, I fired my stepdad's gun into the air. The police arrested me and they went to reformatory. There, I learned how to play the cornet and found the meaning of my life, music. When I left the reformatory, I knew already what I wanted to do in my life. I kept practicing and I met Oliver, the most famous jazz cornet player. From that time, I played music everywhere and with everyone that I called. When I was recording a session, I accidentally dropped my lyric sheet and I lost the music line for a moment, but I didn't lose my temper. I continued singing using my mouth to make sounds like murmuring. I made a new type of music of performance known as cat singing. The fact that all the jazz bars closed due to the depression didn't stop me doing concerts all over the world and recording lots of albums because I was already famous. I also had time to be with my family. When my cousin died, I adopted my disabled nephew. That time, I was so famous that one magazine called me America's greatest gift to the world. To honor the Karnovsky family, I was always wearing a Star of David and I was using Russian melodies into my music. Because of their support at my childhood, I found my talent in music. I believe that I left my own mark on the jazz world of our planet. <laughs>